Okay, fleece weather. The third week of October marks National Pharmacy Week, a time to recognize the invaluable work pharmacists and technicians make to patient care. Here to talk about the vital role they play on the healthcare team and the important work of the past year is Eric Arlia, the Senior Director of System Pharmacy at Hartford HealthCare. Eric, welcome back. Thank you for having me. Always, Appreciate it. Always good to talk. You're a very important guy. So what is the role of the pharmacist in the world of healthcare, and how has the pharmacist's role changed due to COVID-19? Uh, pharmacists have really paid, played a major role uh, in managing the, the COVID vaccine pandemic uh, in a wide variety of areas. Uh, we have helped uh, with the rapidly changing guidance on how to best treat patients with COVID. Uh, that was a lot of our work in the first year of the pandemic. Obviously, this past year, uh, with the vaccines coming out, we've played a major role uh, in the way we distribute the vaccine, getting it out to clinics, making sure that it can be safely stored. Uh, and pharmacists have been a big part of the administration team. Here at Hartford HealthCare, they've given over 30,000 of our vaccinations out. Amazing. I remember when you got your first batch in and we interviewed you, how far we've come. All right, how do pharmacists prepare for pandemics such as this year's? So uh, this really falls under uh, disaster planning, and it's something that we do regularly in hospitals and health systems. Uh, we need to be prepared for uh, things that are going to cause us to use uh, medications to treat critically ill patients uh, in larger volumes uh, with short or no notice. Uh, so uh, we always have those kinds of items on hand. Uh, obviously, what we've done a lot of in the last year uh, is learn which ones are best uh, for treating our COVID patients, and it really did change many times throughout the year. But we started with a baseline, uh, which was really helpful. If you remember back at the beginning last March, things were happening very fast and supplies of drugs uh, were running through quickly. So it was good to have um, a starting point. Yeah, it sure was. All right, can you talk about the strategy and steps that had to be taken uh, in place beforehand? Sure. We were we were all following the news very closely last fall uh, as we learned more about the vaccine, learning about the ultra cold storage of some of the vaccines. Uh, you know, we were doing things ahead of time, getting more refrigeration capacity, uh, talking about how we would distribute with uh, as short as five days to use it once it comes out of the freezer. It's not uncommon for a new vaccine that comes out, uh, you know, to be in a multi dose file um, and to have unusual storage of uh, requirements. So, uh, you know, getting ahead of that and uh, being prepared was helpful to, you know, getting us started quickly. All right. And real quick, last question after navigating the past year and medicine ever changing, what does the future look like for a pharmacist? I always like to tell people there's really two main ways that pharmacy can help. Uh, we've talked a lot on uh, about operations and distributing things like vaccines, making sure medications are safely prepared. Um, and, and, and dispensed is one way. The, uh, that's the, the, the more classic way. Pharmacists really are vital members of the healthcare team as well, though. Uh, we really are the medication experts. Many pharmacists out there are vital members of patient care teams inside hospitals, even in medical offices, uh, helping collaboratively care uh, for complex patients and making sure that their medication therapies are optimized. So both of those roles that we play in pharmacy, I think, are equally important. Keep up the good work. Eric Arlia, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you.